Hey Tigers, I'm Lucy. And I'm Sam. Welcome back to WCSN, where we bring you the latest from Warsaw Community High School. This week is stuffed with excitement. Not only is Thanksgiving just around the corner, but our football team is heading to Lucas Oil Stadium this Saturday for the state championship. That's right. The excitement is off the charts, and we'll get into details about the big game shortly. But first, let's kick things off solving a mystery. Have you seen this man? Uh, no. No. Would you guys go into your city? No. No. No? No. 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 Let me think. Have you seen that man? Yeah, he's in the black box. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I thought it was funny. Let's go. So, Jackson, why'd you do it? I wanted to. That's not an excuse. That's the only one you're getting. Who do you work for? The big man up north. We have evidence against you. Mountains of it. So what do you have to say for yourself now? I don't know what you're talking about. We already pulled your prints. I want my lawyer. You aren't getting a lawyer. So are you finally going to confess what you did? We only have 29 days until Christmas morning. That's why I did it. That's why I was playing Christmas music. It's not even Thanksgiving yet, dude. Well, mystery solved. Thanksgiving isn't just about trivia or even turkey. It's about gratitude, and that is why we are sharing a gratitude roulette, a spotlight on a teacher who makes such a big difference in our lives. This story is all about showing appreciation for our teachers. There are so many amazing educators here at Warsaw, but this week we could only pick one. All right, today we have um, thankfulness roulette. So we have our, our uh, person here, so they're gonna, Flip, flip a coin, and heads is gonna be upstairs, tails is gonna be downstairs, so go ahead and... Ooh, tails. tails, that's first floor. All right, so now what we're gonna do is she's gonna spin around and close her eyes and she's gonna choose a random spot on this map. Oh. All right. So you chose, yeah, you chose the facts class. Now, which teacher do you choose for the for the facts department? Miss Renbarger. I chose Miss Renbarger because I feel like she's a very nice teacher, very chill for a facts teacher, and she lets us have fun in our classes, but still holds us accountable. I just really appreciate that. Thank you. So I'm very thankful for her. Oh, you're now moved up a tier. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gratitude Roulette isn't just the only way we are reflecting this week. As Thanksgiving approaches, we know not everyone has the same experiences with family and food, but there are still some things that make it special. True, and even if your Thanksgiving is low key, it's a great time to roll with it and focus on the good things in life. We asked some of you what Thanksgiving means to you, whether it was time with friends, taking a break, or just enjoying the moments. And your answers were truly inspiring. Let's take a look. Stuffing, or like helping my grandpa with rolls. Playing bingo with my family. The same, we play bingo every year, all of our family. Um, I like spending time with my family and I like eating food, yup. Like we go around the table talking about like what we're thankful for, I think that's a good one. All the dessert. Stuffing the turkey. Uh, playing football with the fam. I really enjoy going to my grandparents and then just eating Thanksgiving there. Baked mac and cheese and um, peach cobbler. Um, what you call it? Sweet potato pie, turkey, stuffing, mashed gravy, and baked mac and cheese. Oh, and apple pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving tradition is eating macaroni. Uh, it's got to be eating the turkey, man. Um, mashed potatoes. Those answers were amazing. It's a great reminder that Thanksgiving can mean different things for everyone, whether it's spending time with loved ones, taking a breather, or just being thankful for the little things. And as we head into the holidays, it is important to remember that the gratitude and kindness can make a big difference in somebody's life. Speaking of big things, let's talk about the biggest event this week, our football team heading to Lucas Oil Stadium for the state championship.
Well, it's a big deal because it's for a state championship, something that Warsaw has not accomplished nor played in in its entire history. It's a big deal to say, hey, like we've we've had about the toughest path we could have to get here. We you know we've beaten some really really good teams on the on the way. Um, so nothing's been handed to these kids, and so that also makes a big deal to say, hey, you really have shown, you know, to be the best. You have to be the best. I'm excited about the week. Um, all of the unity of our community coming together for our program. Uh, our players, it's an experience for my family, uh, the coaching staff, everyone that's involved. It is the epitome of what we work for from the summer all the way until it's going to be Saturday night. I'm excited for the seniors who really have done an outstanding job um, leading by example for really since they've been in this program. Um, it's so cool to see hard work pay off the way it has for these kids. Um, so I'm really pumped for them. I think that's going to be an outstanding opportunity. Wednesday we get to go down to practice there uh, in Lucas Oil Stadium, uh, which will be a really, really cool experience. And you know, I'm just I'm excited that you're seeing resilience, toughness, all those things pay off. Um, personally, I'm excited because I uh, I've never gotten to I never got to play in this game as a, as a player. I was close, but I didn't get to make it this far. Um, so to do as a coach with my with my old man is really, really exciting to think about. I'd say if our boys keep playing with the same intensity, the same focus, the same uh, um, kind of reckless abandon, um, I think they've done a great job of no matter who we're playing, they know hey, if we stay together, we trust each other, trust our coaching, um, good things are going to happen. And you know, we've we've been down in several of the games this postseason run, and each time, you know, we keep um, keep fighting back. And I think if we keep that same even keel, focus, but intensity during the week, I think it'll be a great week for the Tigers. This is a once in a lifetime moment for our school and community. Let's pack Lucas Oil Stadium, wear our orange and black, and cheer on our team to victory. There are 200 free student tickets available, but they are going fast. Stop by the athletic office to get the details on how to secure your free ticket. So whether you are in the stands or cheering from home, let's make sure the Tigers feel love and don't forget to bring stuffing. That's all for today's newscast, Tigers. Thanks for tuning in to WCSN. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share so you don't miss out on future updates. We'll see you next time.